Phil was a good racer, good respectful racer. I respect everybody I race against, but Phil, you raced him. You know, we got into each other a little bit, but you always knew you were good. You were racing hard, and if something happened, it was because of good, hard racing. Phil was, you know, let's race. Let's rub a little bit. Let's race. I mean, don't wreck each other, but let's, fans got to see a show. We want to race side by side. And you never worried about, you know, racing with Phil. You, you know, you race with Phil. It's like, that was a good race, you know, no matter what. The year he lost the championship on that last race, he clearly, clearly had the position that he wanted. I remember that distinctly. In the last race of the year, he had to finish in a certain spot, and he missed it by one. But he was clearly in that spot when he came over the, over the start-finish line. But I remember being in that press box that day to a man. Everybody agreed that Rondo did what he had to do, and upstairs they took it away from him. I said I wasn't going to be controversial, but I, I remember that. <laughs> Knew you were going to come up with that question. Was that the one where they erased the tape by mistake? Bill Roberts erased the tape? Billy Roberts erasing the tape. <laughs> uh, Waterford Gate. Yeah. St. <laughs> Hilaire, Tommy Fox, Phil Rondo, the top five down the back straight away. Here comes Coates in the 90, trying to gain ground. So Coates trying to do everything he can to get back up to the front as he'll try to get around the number two of Dwayne Noel. Me and Phil were neck to neck for points. We knew that Alan and Phil were two points apart. I think Alan was two points ahead of me going into the last race. Phil Rondo losing a grip on the championship. The race would end now. It would be Alan Coates unofficially by about 10 points. I was definitely way ahead of Phil early in the race. I got a flat on the restart. I was like, oh, no, this is up. We're done. And one thing with me, if I have to pit and I come back out, watch out, because I'm going to, I don't lift, I don't, I'm going. Who will win the final event in the 2001 season in the late model division? Who will win the championship? Green flag is back up in the air, and we're back underway. They'll set sail down into turn number one. Rondo looking for the third spot. Down into the corner, Goss, the race leader, white flag off turn four, and a lap to run. For the final time, they'll work down in turn number one, Larry Goss. Trouble, big trouble at turn number one. Tommy Fox into the wall, head on. Caution is out. And they're racing hard. And at the end of the race, they were coming out of turn four. Allen, Phil, and Corey was involved. Last turn, coming off the last turn. We're going down the front stretch. I'm going by Corey Hutchins. And uh, I know there was no way Allen could go by Corey to get behind me to finish the spot that he needed behind me. As they come to the line, I'm watching. I'm trying to watch what's going on. I'm, and out of the corner of my eye, as Corey shoots to the infield because he he goes this way. They came across the line by about four breasts for second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. We went over the line and I didn't know who, what, where I called on radio and said, hey, where'd we finish? Did we get Phil? We not get Phil? What are we doing? Went across the line, had me in third place, and Corey behind me in fourth on the scoreboard. So you went off the track thinking you got the championship. Oh, yeah. And I remember everybody in the press box saying, well, Rondo did what he had to do. We didn't have electronic scoring then. The two scorers in the tower both called for Allen to be the winner. I remember Allen going over the scales and parking his car in the infield, and there was, he was in the infield, and I think Phil was on the front shoot, and nobody, like, nothing, nobody was doing anything. It was like, well, they, are you serious? Is this much time is going by, and they still don't know who won the championship? Okay, let's see. Uh, Phil Rondo is crossing scales over on the back stretch. Larry Goss celebrates, so over in turn number two in fine style. All the numbers being tabulated up here, trackside. And now, who wins the championship? 
and by this time I've got people yelling in my ear, you know, the tower's getting very excited. There was some some talking here and there about where everybody finished and this and that, and uh, I ended up going up into the grandstands and wanted to see the tape. And uh, Billy Roberts said, yep, no problem. I'll hang on a minute. I'll go check it out. So we had the guy videotaping at that time, and it was not an official videotape by any means. That's not what the purpose was. We weren't officially using the video to officiate racing. And I was torn about that. I didn't know whether that was something we should or shouldn't do. But Billy thought it was worth doing, and I, I you know, I let him run with the ball. So I rewound, I, I rewound the tape. And as they come across, I really couldn't see it. So I rewound the tape again, hit play, which I thought was play, and I hit the record button. And it obliterated the tape. We're down to the stride. The white flag is in the air this time by. The white flag will surrender to the checker for the final time off of turn number two and down the back stretch. Division, October I had a nice view of the, the desk in front of me up in the tower. I think he just honestly, in his non-technology fashion, erased the tape. <laughs> Not on purpose. Like he was trying to do the right thing and up in smoke. Yeah. So an incredible finish now. The tabulation goes for who is the champion? Is it Phil Rondo or is it Alan Coates? Next thing I know is the tape got erased. Only from the fourth turn to the first turn. After the fact, I went out and I talked to Phil. And I said, I, I, says, I really was trying to help you out. I says, I was trying to make sure that everything was what the scorers. I mean, I said, officially, I have to go with what the scorers called. I says, as a race director, I'm trying to make sure that the call they made was correct. I says, and unfortunately for you, I did a stupid thing. And the word that we got from uh, the booth that Alan Coates is your 2001 late model champion, two points over Phil Rondo. Corey Hutz is the driver of car number 36, the foreign auto parts entry. You were third coming in, you finished third in the race, but all in all, Corey, it has been a great season for you. Yeah, it sure has, it's been a great season. You know, I don't know what happened there at the finish, it was real close, I got underneath Larry for the, for the win, and uh, I don't know, we need a photo finish there, I think. You know, I... Phil was very quiet. He, he said, okay, that's it then? I says, yeah, that's it. And when he went down to the tower, he talked to Peter after the fact. He told Peter that he didn't lose the championship that night. He lost it earlier in the season. He didn't do as well in some of the other races that he should have. <clears throat> Excuse me. I remember that as, as one of the nights that, that, that sticks in my craw. At the end of that race, it, uh, I, there's no doubt in my mind. I had a perfectly good view at the start-finish line, and the videotape would have proved that Phil beat him. And then he come back down all mad and I didn't know what happened and afterwards they told me and I was like, uh-oh. You know, I didn't, had nothing to do with anything with anybody because like I said, I just stayed to myself but I was like, oh, that's messed up and I felt bad. And I'm like, man, that kind of sucks. Did that create animosity with Coates? No, I never had a problem with Alan. There was never a problem with Alan. It wasn't him. You know, Phil Rondo was obviously very upset with how things came down that night but at the end of the day, it was Bill Roberts' job to, to to run the sporting event, and he used a tool that, you know, it didn't work out. I just felt so bad. I still feel bad that I, I did that. I don't like doing dumb things. <laughs>